the reigning AL MVP in one Shohei Otani looking Bobby for a re repeat performance of well, what was an incredible outing last week against the Houston Astros in eight innings of one run ball. He would match that. He had to leave a little early. But he matched that yesterday. He did match it. And, you know, now that it's out that Mike has said and Shohei has said that there is inter-team competition to be the best player on this team and that Shohei is trying to win his back-to-back -back MVP. And I think that's spectacular that these world-class athletes are going out there and, and putting on a display every night. He came up with a little blister last night after striking out seven. He's gotten a new toy in his arsenal. It's called a two-seam fastball. That means it runs a little toward the right-hander and away from the left-hander. He's throwing it 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, only 100 <laughs> and actually up to 101. But, you know, when you throw it to spin differently, it'll come off your finger a little differently. So where he has a callus built up from the pitches he was throwing earlier in the season, there is no callus now on that little side of his finger. So it became a blister, which he took care of immediately, he came out of the game. I'll bet he's fine for next start. Yeah, let's show you how that unfolded. He had gone five innings of 79 pitches, 48 strikes, seven punch outs. This is Shohei warming up before the bottom of the sixth inning. Looking at his finger, Bobby, would be his middle finger. And uh, as you did mention, Phil would come out with the trainer and good decision overall because you don't want the blister to break. You want to give it a chance to heal. And as far as we know, we'll find out in a moment, he should be good for his next start. Yeah, he'll know in between starts because, uh, you know, it's all a touch and feel thing, this pitching, art of pitching. But you see, he's blowing on it. That means it was hot. Yeah. That means it was becoming a blister. And that means he knows what to do. And that's called timeout and not let it get away away from himself. Still remarkable, though, threw one pitch 101.4 miles an hour, the fastest pitch he has thrown in his career. Uh, got the W last night, his 12th of the season. But let's get some updates. David Fletcher got hit in the hand. Of course, Shohei left early. For all the updates, we go to Minute Maid Park. Erica Weston standing by. Erica, we are on pins and needles right now. We want to know the update of Shohei and Fletch. I think you guys can take a deep breath. Everything is going to be just okay. I know there's a lot of concern when you see the training staff and Phil Nevin coming out to take him out of the game. But fortunately, the Halos do feel like they got out in front of it. Again, you saw him sort of looking down at his finger while he was throwing those warm-up pitches when he came out in the sixth inning. Max Stassi was alerting the training staff. They took a look at him. As you can kind of see in their faces there, it didn't look too extremely concerning. Again, it hadn't popped yet, so they do feel feel like they got out ahead of it but Phil Nevin also saying you know Shohei knows his body and takes care of it better more than maybe any other player in the game so they do feel confident that he's going to be able to make his next start we'll have more on David Fletcher in just a moment but here was Phil Nevin this morning about the latest with Shohei Otani and that blister on his middle finger he, he feels good today uh came in I asked him about it he's says he's going to be fine to throw his bullpens in between starts and obviously hit today. So uh, I think he's good. I think we caught it ahead of time. Uh, like I said, he's, you know, he's, he's the best. I've been around it, understanding what his body's doing and where he's at. And, and uh, I think he got out of there just in time before it kind of popped open and it may have affected his next start or even hitting today. So.